Hi, my name is Jordan Petrosich from Accounts Fable. I'm here to show you how to create a travel expense report to reconcile your travel pre-approval in Chrome River. First, log into Chrome River, then click the plus new button in the upper right corner, then new expense report. Because it's a travel expense report, we're gonna to wanna to come down here to the report type and select traveler. Now the expense report is gonna look similar to the pre-approval form that we already filled out except we have this field for last four digits of pre-approval ID. Now these are the last four digits from your previous um, pre-approval that are gonna link the two together. And I'll show you how to find that number. Coming back to your homepage in Chrome River, you'll go down to pre-approvals and go to submitted last 90 days. So here we have a list of all of our pre-approvals from the last 90 days. For this expense report, we're gonna look at this pre-approval at the top, which is what we're reconciling. The name of the report is Chrome River Conference, August 2021, and right below it here on the left-hand side is the report ID. You can also find it on the right-hand side here on the header with more of the basic information. So I'm gonna copy and paste this. Copy the last four, and then we're gonna paste it onto the expense report. This is going to link the two reports together. We're also gonna copy and paste the name of the report so that they're also easy to find and link together. For the event, it's the Chrome River Conference. The destination we have is Las Vegas. The business start date, August 2nd. And the end date is August 5th. Now, if you're including personal travel days, you want to click this button and follow the directions here. If it is student travel, you want to do the same with this checkbox. And you can also notice here, there's a lot of blue text on the screen, similar to the pre-approval. This is here to help you, to guide you. This is policy, this is tips. Um, it should help you with these specific sections um, throughout Chrome River. So this does look good. Um, we're going to save this and that creates our header. Now, before we add our expenses, which you can see are here on the right-hand side from our e-wallet, we're going to come to the left-hand side here and look at our report. We're going to come up to the name of the report and click on that to see the header, which is what we just created. We're going to scroll down here to the bottom to add our registration form, very similar to the pre-approval that we set up previously. We're going to click Add Attachments and then Upload Attachments. Here's our registration. It might take a second to upload because it is a few pages. Below you can see that the registration has uploaded. Now we can come back to our expense report and add expenses by clicking the plus sign here. Now our expenses pop up on the right hand side. First thing we're going to do is add our cash advance. We're going to click the checkbox here and then add. We're given an opportunity to add any additional notes if necessary, but for this, we don't have any additional notes. This is a cash advance. Next, we'll add a travel receipt. So we have a $250 receipt here. We're going to do the same thing we did for our cash advance. Click the checkbox and then add to our report. We're going to classify the expense by clicking overnight travel. And as you can see, Chrome River has already picked up that this is $250. It, you know, it read this receipt and that the merchant is named Travel. It picked up that information right here, obviously. So the details of this purchase, we're going to call this lodging or conference, and we don't have any additional notes. We are going to choose the folk down here, the allocation. So we're going to click on this box and a drop down menu does pop up. And the more you use a folk, the higher it's going to be on this list. For me, that's going to be financial services. We can see our receipt is down here and it does make it pop up here on the left hand side. This looks good, so we're going to save it. And as you can see, that receipt and expense is now on the left hand side, which is our expense report. Let's also add a $100 receipt here, add, and we're going to go through the same steps. We're going to click overnight travel. It's already $100, which has been pre populated. The details of this we'll call it just my registration, we'll call it. Oh, we already did lodging, so this is going to be registration, actually. 
we're going to use financial services again and save. Now we're also going to want to add our per diem. In order to do that, we're going to click create new. And now we have some expense tiles that pop up. We're going to click meals. And we're going to do per diem meal wizard. Our start date and end date has already been populated here, but we're going to need to select the time that we leave. And the time that you leave for travel is the time that you leave your home. So let's say we're leaving at 7 a.m. Took 7 a.m. and we return home at, we'll say, 4 p.m. We have no additional notes. And again, the location is Las Vegas. Let's see, Las Vegas. And then we're going to come down to the bottom here and select our allocation, financial services, add entries. As you can see to the right, we've added our per diem for each day. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. <clears throat> if you click on the day itself, you can see breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this, um, this Monday, for instance, we're only getting $47 food and that's because of the time that we're leaving at 7 a.m. it's expected that you are to your breakfast before that so it wouldn't be included in your travel so that's why this is already grayed out now you can see on Thursday when we return dinner um, would be expected for you to eat dinner at home because you're getting home by a decent hour 4 p.m. because of this uh, particular conference we'll say um, the registration uh, for this conference includes food so we'll say Breakfast are, is included, and if we open these up, we can actually click the breakfast button here, and that affects the amount here on the right-hand side. So it was $61, and now it's $47. So this is how we show that food is included in our registration by clicking these. And it could be dinner is included also, but for this one, we're going to say breakfast is included. So we'll do that for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. This looks good, so we'll add this to the report now. Perfect. So on the left-hand side, we have all of our expenses. This looks right. We have our cash advance, we have our two overnight travel expenses, and we have all of our, our meals from per diem, um, through per diem. However, if you can see down here, the total pay me is a negative $210. And that's because the cash advance is more than the whole trip costs. So we're gonna need to reimburse the college for that. And the way we do that is we come up here, we're still on the create new, add expenses side, we're going to click cash advance return. Now, in order to zero that out, we want to reimburse the college $210. So we'll do $210. Um, we don't need any additional notes for this one. And we'll save. So you can see that just popped up here. Let's see right here cash advance return. Um, it evens things out, and now we have a total pay me amount of $0. So this looks good. We're going to submit this report. Click Submit. We're going to review our registration, our receipts, the allocations that we've used, and our expenses. This looks good. So I'm going to click the Submit button. And there we go. That's how you create an expense report for travel in Chrome River.